every part of me is wet. I'm cold. My only choice right now is to get to where I'm going. Switching up again, going for the swim bait. I couldn't get any bites on spoon. Well, I did get a bite actually when I was trolling, but I missed it. I was too busy trying to turn the camera on. And I tried the rooster tail because something's coming and taking stuff off the top, but it's not interested in that rooster tail. Whether it's the wrong color, I don't know. But I'm going to try this little swim bait, see if that works. Because there's not a lot of bugs. Like, there really isn't. So it's not like whatever's out here is, is going crazy on the bugs. Why, do, why am I doing that? I have, <laughs> I have clippers right here. Let's see if I get anything. A nibble on the swim bait. I just feel like... I've got a uh, six to one, six to one ratio in this. I just feel like it's a bit much for whatever's out there right now.
Cheers, guys. Bourbon whiskey. Whew. Celebrating. <laughs> Celebrating. Finally got my uh, green card. Well, I already had a green card, but I had a two-year conditional one, so now they gave me my full... 10 years, so I'm officially a permanent resident of the United States of America, which is good. And I also, now I qualify for citizenship. Well, I, I don't qualify to be a citizen, but I qualify to apply to be a citizen. So that's the next step on the list, which is good. It's been a while since I've been out. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I've been out, actually. Had a bunch of stuff. I was in England for the first time since the pre-pandemic. Uh, the dog hurt herself when I was away, she had to have surgery, and then she managed to pop the cone off twice and pull all the stitches out, so she was... She was, <laughs> she was under 24-hour surveillance, she was on full lockdown, solitary confinement, until that happened. Then I had some issues with my GoPro, which goes without saying, because GoPros suck, and... The products suck and the company itself suck. And what else? Yeah. Oh, and gypsy moths. Gypsy moths. I don't know if anybody else has had those. We've had an absolute invasion at my house. And yeah, they were everywhere. They, I mean, the oak trees at my house have been absolutely destroyed. Destroyed. And they're an invasive species, the European gypsy moth. I mean, they were on everything. Like, they were on everything. The, the house, my car everything so I didn't want to run the risk of driving up here and tr accidentally transferring them up into this place so I kind of avoided that but I have noticed the last couple of days that they've started to now pupate so they're not active anymore before when they were active and they could move I, my fear was they would be like on my truck or inside my truck somewhere and then when I parked they'd crawl out and then spread up here which I don't want to happen but now I get to enjoy myself. Four days out here, bit of weather tomorrow. Gonna do some exploring, places I've never been. Looking forward to it. Just looking at the GPS, it says there's going to be some heavy rain, like now, and I can feel the wind picking up, for sure, so it definitely feels like it's going to rain, but it says it's only should be bad for about an hour or two, and then once that's over, it'll still be raining, but it won't be as bad, so I was debating what to do, whether to 
to get moving or or stay here I think the best bet is to stay here with my hammock already set up that way if it gets real bad I can batten down the hatches this I got this new Superfly tarp from Warbonnet Outdoors so it has the end doors on it which is nice so I can bring this right down so it's fully enclosed and that way I don't get soaking wet every part of me is wet I mean I'm gonna get wet today anyway because as soon as the worst of it's over I'll have to paddle but I've got I've got my rain gear it's just there's no point when it's really coming down because I know I'll just get down there then I'll have to stop and there's gonna be nowhere to stop on the way down where I'm going I know that much Look at that, there's not a single bit of meat on there. Basically a repeat of last night's dinner. Venison, bacon, blue cheese, barbecue sauce, and this time the addition of the egg for a breakfast scramble. I'm ready to start my day now. Holy. Once I get off this water, this lake, there's a brook down here that we've got to head down. It's very narrow and winding, which will be easier than paddling in this wind because it's very windy today. We could go down into some smaller ponds. Of course, I sit there all the time at the campsite waiting for it to rain. No rain when it says it's supposed to rain. And I get in the canoe and it starts raining. <laughs> Never done anything like this before in this canoe, trying to get out of this. It's the only thing about these canoes, they're not easy to get in and out of.
super windy down here. I mean, there's all sorts of little offshoots. It's pretty hard to follow. It's pretty easy to get lost down here, that's for sure. Take a wrong turn at least. I mean, right now I'm just trying to follow the bit that's most open. But I don't know. There was a one back there that looked bigger, had a beaver dam on it, but it didn't look like anyone had crossed the beaver dam. And when I was leaving my campsite, I was actually speaking to a group that had just come from down here. So there was probably like six of them, six canoes, probably more people than that. At least probably six canoes, two man canoes. So if they had gone over that beaver dam, it would have been pretty obvious. I mean, that wasn't, it wasn't running at all. And if, I don't know how many people had been out, walked over it, plus canoes, it would definitely be running. So I'm just following this open bit right now and see where this takes me, but it's beautiful. Peaceful. Currents pick it up. I don't know. That means I've gone the right way or the wrong way. And it is definitely flowing. We're beached. Don't know where this portage is. The rain's coming down. And this is getting pretty hectic in here. I don't know if it's an obvious one or if I've gone past it. Oh what? getting pretty shallow in points and like I say the current is really moving I'm getting wet I 
me, that looked like it could have been it. It's hard to tell, there's so many spots where animals have been sitting in the grass. That definitely looked like there was a trail coming out of the woods, but I don't see any sign and we're really getting hammered now. I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea where this portage is. Oh, we're gonna find it. Right now I'm following the current. Wherever feels like there's the most current maybe I feel like the portage could be here if not we're pretty close oh, no. it's not here it's not here I thought for sure it was going to be right here. I don't know if I missed it or not. It wasn't signed. I don't know. Do not know. I know which direction this like creek, brook, or whatever it is, bends. But there's so many like bends within it. Like I know it goes around to the right. The portage is on the left, but like I say, there's so many bends within this brook that it's hard to know when you've actually taken that this big swoop to the right. I mean, if it's not here, it has to be back there. This is, yes, it's here. This has to be it, surely. Well, there's a sign there. Boundary. Okay, we made it. We made it. So it's one of those that's definitely further than you think. And I am soaking wet. Oh, nice. We made it.
Oh, the mosquitoes are out on this parting. The big fear is that there's only one or two campsites down here. And if I get down there and they're taken, <laughs> I have to come all the way back. Because the other portage to go through to the next place is an absolute grind. Or so I've been told. So if I have to do that, my truck's back this way so I can't do with the loop. There's no way of doing the loop. I have to come back this way. So hopefully there's nobody down here or at least there's hopefully there's one campsite available and get some dry clothes on get a fire going I need to get out of this rain. It's getting cold. It's getting tense. Well, I'm really wet, really wet, and really cold at this point. This is all the weather that was supposed to happen earlier that I was trying to wait out. I mean, you can hear the thunder, and then obviously what was supposed to happen at one o'clock didn't happen until three o'clock. I'm like I say, I'm I'm. Every part of me is wet, I'm cold. My only choice right now is to get to where I'm going and and just get out of these clothes and get under my tarp. Just got this one last carry to go and this one's a 
worse than the last one. Well, I made it to a spot and I got the tarp up and I'm just eating some food. The rain hasn't stopped, I don't know if it will stop. It's 7.20 right now and yeah, I'm hoping it stops because my, my rain jacket is completely soaked through. I don't want to go out there to have to string up my hammock in the rain when I've just got fresh dry clothes on. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll die down a bit. But, I don't know, I can still hear thunder and lightning over in the distance. So I don't know if this is just going to be all night now. Because it said, when I looked at my weather on my GPS earlier, said it was going to rain like this at 1 o'clock and then by 3 o'clock it would be clear and so far it started at 3 o'clock and it's rained until well like I said it's still 7.20 right now and it's still raining, no sign of stopping Man, I love my rain gear, but the smell, <laughs> the smell coming up from these, I don't, I think it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the fact that these are overalls, they've got a straight dirt pipe. <laughs> I shouldn't say, that. like an exhaust for my undercarriage that's just blowing straight up my nose, which is not, not does not smell good right now, but I do love these these uh, rain pants. I got them last year before I went on that trip to Maine. I originally went in just to get the some, you know, the little cheap rain pants, and these were on clearance. They were still a bit more expensive, but I'm glad I got these because they're actually comfortable. They actually they're not like just that plastic 
Like if that was the case last night, I would have been very uncomfortable. But these are almost like I can just wear them like another pair of of trousers. And actually, I really do love the the overalls. It just makes it nice. Plus, like I say, I can it does have a, a zip and it goes all the way down, so I can vent if I need to get some air in there. But yeah, yesterday yesterday is actually one of the reasons why I haven't been out. Not because of the rain, but because of my GoPro, like I say, my GoPro stopped working and it stopped working because of GoPro software. So then I was in a battle with them for two weeks while talking about warranty and stuff. But I didn't, I, if you watch my Utah video, you know that I dropped this camera and I broke it again. And this camera, as much as I love it and the picture quality is great compared to my old camera, it's not as durable and the weatherproofing's not as good. So I can't, like yesterday, there's no way I could have filmed everything on this camera without it breaking or had the camera out in the boat. And if something happens and it's like, well, I need the GoPro. I needed a GoPro. So I had to go through all that with GoPro and they suck. They absolutely suck. GoPro sucks, 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 sucks. And that way to get fixed again so I didn't want to get caught in any rain having to use this camera because I don't want to break this camera for a third time. So I needed a GoPro, so I had to sort of figure that out and I had to argue with them for two weeks. And yeah, it was pain. Pain in my... Uh... They're the worst company to deal with and they sell just terrible products. Products that break products which break because of their own software and then they refuse to warranty it after a year so they can literally I hate them I hate them I hate them hates a strong word but I hate them Gonna roll my wet clothes up inside my tarp. That way I can keep my dry clothes and my wet clothes separate. And I also don't get stuff inside my bag wet.
quite an outfit. Bringing the 90s back in a big way. <laughs> It's a frog, but it's pretty big. I mean, frog's probably that big, but it's still got a, its tail from a tadpole, so it's got like a big old tail. Couldn't catch him now. What's going on? afternoon is go back exactly the way we came and it's not a lot of paddling <laughs> just down here and then carries carries and more carries big old pile of bear scat I don't know what's worse I was doing this yesterday in the rain or Doing it in the heat with all the bugs. That's obviously not a fish, that's why I've got my fishing stuff out. Because of something, I guess. It's either a beaver or an otter. I could be wrong, but we'll see. There we go, that's it. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. It's gotta be a bass. Nice. 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 Little smally. Little smally. Thought so. Sorry, buddy. Nice. First one of the year. First one of the year. Oh, we got him. He's gone. He's gone. Nice. 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 I decided 
I was just going to walk the boat up to so it's clear of the the landing walking through doesn't look it but that is a massive hole I mean look at my leg nasty oh, man this place never ends every time you feel like you're there there's another corner another corner another corner I wonder if there's any way to ride this out without having to get out. We're going for it. Could be a mistake. We made it without having to get out of the boat. Wonderful. Go see what campsites are available. <sighs> Getting stuck out in the wind. Not good. I'm going to go across now to get to the leeward side. I took a gamble and I lost. What I was really hoping to do today was get a, a campsite on this side of the lake so I could have an easier paddle out tomorrow and really just spend the evening relaxing because it's quite a big lake. I didn't want to paddle all the way down to the other end and then have to just paddle all the way back up here first thing in the morning. But unfortunately, they were taken. I mean, it's a lot busier here than it was when I pulled in, so unfortunately, it's the way it goes sometimes. But I had fun, it was a good trip. Looking forward to more, now that I've got all my technical issues sorted, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.